Hey there everyone, welcome back to Game Buttons. My name is Dave and welcome back to another Catapult Kingdoms video. Today's expansion is what we're talking about, so I'm not gonna tell you how to play the game, but this expansion ups the toy factor by a million. Look at this boat. It shoots boulders, hives, and it also makes these boulders in di many different sizes. Now, this is the Viking boat expansion. It brings in Viking miniatures that are raiding both people, and if they get to your castle, well, it's all over for you. So it's a different mechanism to the game that you have to worry about. Not only do you have to watch out for your opponent destro destroying your castle, you have to worry about those stubborn Vikings that if they touch any part of your castle, game over. Though, so if you're able to beat the Vikings, you can control their ship and shoot it at your opponent. Let me show you how this spices up the game. Let's go. Okay, so we're just gonna show you what we get and explain what's going on and how it changes everything up. Now, you're gonna be playing this with the base game, so one castle versus another castle, and the Vikings are, are going to be raiding. But before we get into that, let's go into the Vikings themselves. There's two different models, a female and a male, and these are some of the cooler miniatures. They are really nice. And again, one is much easier to hit. The guys have more mass to them. Now it does come with four boulders here and it comes with some of these Viking cards. But you're not here for anything like that. You're here this for this massive ship. Yes, you get to pull the plunger in the back and shoot. So we know that it shoots a boulder, right? It shoots a boulder, but does it shoot the hive? Let's test it out and see. Yeah, uh, kind of. And the production of it is really heavy, very stout. Um, and if your fingers are the least bit sweaty, this pull pin is, is going to be harder to hold. But um, it shoots the, the hive well enough. But I do think cannonballs is where it's at for the ship. It keeps getting stuck with the, with the uh, um, hive. So yeah, hive isn't what you want. You wouldn't be playing with that anyway. You'd be playing with these boulders. And yes, it shoots, I would say, just like um, the Ram. I can't remember what that uh, thing is called. Like that Ram one that comes in the t Artifact Tower expansion. But a little more stout to it. It has a great detail. Oh, I'm going to have to get back and find that <laughs> boulder. But let's take a closer look at some of the detail here. The, the um, rubber band goes on the pen. And that was probably the hardest rubber band contraption I had a... Um, time with but it went in well enough uh, Eventually, so that's what you get in the box. How is the game different? Well, the Vikings are going to be distant away from each player equally and they are going to be raiding and They will move two distance so a block every time at the beginning of uh, each turn towards each one of the players and if the Vikings ever touch one of your castle pieces you lose out right now you can knock the vikings over by shooting the barrels which i did terribly but if you do then they go back to the, the uh, start position one knock down and uh, you're good to go now instead of using your cards in the beginning of your turn at the tactics phase you can use the viking cards which allow you to do different various things and then you get to shoot this so that's how you can shoot this guy is by using your tactics uh, so the first one that we have here is charge move any one of the vikings uh, by a distance of two that makes sense retreat any one of the viking warriors uh, by two move them away uh, so wolf bane on your turn you may use the viking cannon as your weapon the long ship can not be moved that's one thing i didn't mention but it can be rotated to aim so there's that uh, lucky guess look at one of your your discard pile and pick one of the cards secret of your opponent has a chance to guess the card uh, you picked if they guess it correctly they keep the card so that's one of the lengthier ones not one of my favorites uh, double distance for this one you will basically uh, move your weapon up to a uh, distance of four and then shoot so there's a little bit of that if you want to do that uh, false orders follow the troop placement rules move up to two of your opponent troops to a new 
position. So the cards can help move the Vikings and help you shoot this thing. But that's how the Vikings vary up the game. Now let me tell you what I think about this stuff. So that is the Viking expansion. What do I think about it? It's a cute expansion and this is very gaudy, very huge and just overblown for no reason. But it, I think there's a purpose for that just so you can have this big daunting ship and have the do loom and doom of those Vikings potentially get into you. I like it, uh, not my favorite expansion. And if, you, if you're if you one of those people who really like components, this might be your favorite. So, so it might be one that you wanna get though. You don't need to feel like you're missing out if you're if you don't have this gigantic ship. The Vikings are pretty hard to take care of. They're very small, and I there were, were many games where the end victory was because the Vikings got to one of the people. Now, unless you're able to aim carefully with your weapons and knock those Vikings out of the way, you are going to have to put put more attention on them getting to you than shooting boulders at your opponent. So it makes the game a little bit longer that way, or it wraps it up much faster than normal because the Vikings kind of speed in there. It, it's good, um, kind of refreshing of Catapult Kingdoms. Not something I'll play every time with. I do like the production, the, the both the style of the miniatures, uh, the female and the male version are really nicely done. I want to paint them so, so much, uh, but again, um, there are the two factors of one the, the females are a smaller miniature so it's harder to hit them so those are the ones that normally got to me uh, because i couldn't knock them over now shooting this thing was fun but it didn't happen as much as i would like it to so it kind of just was a big giant piece sitting there maybe we'll shoot it once or twice but when we did, it was fun. I don't think it's the best shooter though. It's more clunky than anything to kind of shoot that off. And it has to, has to follow the rules on when it aims. And if it shoots, it, it's like a second boulder. It has to shoot uh, in the same direction. So this, this kind of thing is, it, it's just a bulky and kind of clunky to use. Again, they were just going for the toy factor on this one, and I am totally for that. Again, not an expansion that I think should be the first one you get. Maybe the second, maybe the third. I'm happy I have it, because it, it, when I, I play Catapult Kingdoms, I just pull this out when people come over, and they see this, and they're hooked. So, it, if not for anything, it's good for the curb appeal. Overall, it gets a thumb and a half up for me. So, thank you so much again, Vesuvius, for helping support these videos of Catapult Kingdoms. I really do appreciate it. And thank you so much, Fine Nation, for clicking like and subscribe. My name is Dave. Have a great rest of your day and a great time with all you play. You heard it here on the Game Fine. Bye. Fine Nation, we love making content here for you on the channel, and we're almost at 10,000 subscribers, so subscribe now and help us out. This video right here, I think you'll like. This video right here, YouTube thinks you'll like. Or you can just sit here and watch me dance as a dinosaur for a little bit longer. You can visit us at our social media outlets, and we're going to be improving our Patreon here soon. That's all for today. Miko, it's time to go. Good girl, Miko.